Have you ever wondered who truly holds the reins of power in Manipur? It's a question that may seem straightforward, but as we delve deeper, the waters become murkier. The power dynamics within this region are far from simple, with influences and control shifting like sand beneath the waves. The landscape of power is not always shaped by those sitting in government offices or wearing uniforms. Sometimes, the most influential forces operate in the shadows, subtly shifting the balance in their favor. Manipur is one such region where this paradox is starkly evident. Here, an underground organization known as the Arambai Tengol Group has risen to a position of formidable influence, challenging the conventional power structures. They've managed to seize control in ways that might seem unimaginable, overpowering police stations, looting thousands of guns, controlling commerce, and even coercing other militant groups into submission. Their rise has not been quiet, nor has it been without consequence. Stay with us as we unravel the rise of a group that would challenge traditional power structures and make its mark on Manipur. Every story has a beginning and the Arambai Tengul group is no exception. The origins of this group trace back to a time when Manipur was grappling with political unrest and socio-economic challenges. The Arambai Tengul group was born out of these turbulent times, initially as a response to the perceived injustices and lack of representation. The early days of the group were marked by a strong sense of purpose and unity. The key figures involved in the formation of the group were driven by a shared vision to bring change and justice to their community. They were not just ordinary men, they were visionaries who saw beyond the immediate chaos. They were strategists who understood the power of organization and collective action. Their initial objectives were clear and straightforward. They aimed to challenge the status quo and bring about meaningful change in the socio-political landscape of Manipur. They sought to empower their community, to give them a voice that could be heard amidst the cacophony of political discourse. As the group began to grow, so did their influence and power. They started to attract more members, each bringing their own skills, experiences, and resources to the table. This diverse pool of talent and commitment was instrumental in transforming the Arambai Tengol group into a formidable force. They learned to harness the power of unity, to navigate the complex political landscape, and to strategize their moves carefully. The motivations of the group evolved over time, shaped by the changing socio-political dynamics and the realities they faced on the ground. Yet, their commitment to their vision remained unshaken. They stayed true to their cause, even as they adapted their strategies to the changing circumstances. In the midst of all these changes, the Arambai Tengel group managed to maintain a sense of purpose and direction. They remained focused on their goals, and this unwavering focus is what set them apart from other groups. From humble beginnings, the Arambai Tengel group was set to disrupt the power dynamics in Manipur. Their story is a testament to the power of unity, strategic thinking, and unwavering commitment to a cause. It's a story that continues to unfold, shaping the future of Manipur in ways that were once unimaginable. Power is seldom given, often it is taken. A statement that rings true in the case of the Arambai Tengel groups rise to power in the Metis territory of Imphal. The strategic steps taken by the group were as audacious as they were calculated. The pivotal event that marked their ascendancy was nothing short of a cinematic thriller, the audacious raid on the state police station. In a daring night operation, they managed to overpower the station, seizing over 6,000 guns and an estimated 6 to 10 lock rounds of ammunition, an act that sent shockwaves throughout Manipur and beyond. But this audacious act was not mere showmanship. It was a strategic move designed to tilt the balance of power in their favor. The sheer volume of weapons they now had at their disposal gave them a level of firepower that few could match, let alone challenge. Yet their rise to power wasn't just about brute strength, it was also about cunning and persuasion. The Arambai Tengol group managed to convince the UNLF Maite militants to surrender to them. In a twist of fate, the once feared UNLF now found themselves working according to the plans of the Arambai group. 
The fear of Arambai was so palpable that they were essentially forced to fall in line. Now the chief of the Arambai Tengul group is among the most powerful individuals in Imphal. The group's influence extends beyond the realms of politics and security. They have control over shops, institutions, and even dictate the daily lives of the common people. Demanding hefty sums of money, they have created a climate of fear and respect. This rise to power wasn't a result of happenstance or luck, it was a carefully orchestrated series of events, executed with precision and audacity. The Arambai Tengol group didn't just seize power, they took it step by step until they became the most powerful organization inside Imphal. In a daring display of power and strategy, the Arambai Tengul group had taken control. With power in their hands, the Arambai Tengul group began to reshape Manipur. Like a game of chess, they strategically positioned themselves, not as mere players, but as the very board upon which the game was played. Their reach extended beyond the realm of politics, stretching its fingers into the veins of Manipur's economy. Shops, once bustling with local trade, found themselves under the iron grip of the Arambai Tengul. Every transaction, every sale, every penny earned, was tainted by their control. It wasn't just the shops, too. Institutions from schools to hospitals were under their watchful eye, their operations dictated by the whims of the group. But their power wasn't limited to economic control. They also exerted influence over other militant groups, most notably the United National Liberation Front, or UNLF. Once feared and respected in their own right, the UNLF found themselves capitulating to the might of the Arambai Tengol. In a twisted act of diplomacy, the Arambai Tengol group convinced the UNLF to surrender their arms and work under their directive. This was a clear demonstration of the Arambai Tengol's cunning and strategic prowess. The people of Manipur watched as their state was transformed. Fear became a constant companion as the shadow of the Arambai Tengol group loomed large. The everyday citizen found themselves caught in a vice between their desire for peace and the harsh reality of their existence under the Arambai Tengol's rule. Yet in this fear, there was also a grudging respect. The Arambai Tengol had achieved what many thought impossible. They had seized control and held it firm, dictating the course of Manipur's future. The Arambai Tengol group had become a force to be reckoned with, casting a long shadow over Manipur. Their influence was pervasive, their power unchallenged. They had not only consolidated their position, but had become the very heart of Manipur, beating with a rhythm of their own, dictating the pace of life in the state. Power, once obtained, can be used to build or to destroy. The Arambai Tengul group, having seized control over the Maite territory, has left an undeniable impact on the state of Manipur. Their rise to power was swift and ruthless, and their reign has been marked by a reign of terror that has shaken the state to its core. The group's control over Manipur's institutions, shops, and livelihoods has led to an oppressive atmosphere. The common people are burdened with demands for money a yoke they bear in fear of the group's retribution. This has led to a sense of unease and tension that pervades everyday life, impacting the social fabric of the Manipuri society. The state itself reels under the weight of this imposed authority. The Arambai Tengol group's audacious looting of the state police station, where they managed to seize 6,000 guns and between 6 to 10 lock rounds of ammunition, is a stark example of their dominance. This act not only highlights the group's audacity, but also their strategic stronghold, which has effectively crippled the state's law enforcement. The national implications of such a power shift cannot be underestimated. It's a chilling reminder of the potential for non-state actors to destabilize established order, raising questions about national security and sovereignty. It also underscores the need for stronger state institutions and law enforcement mechanisms to prevent such takeovers. The group's influence extends beyond the Maite territory. Even the UNLF Maite militants, once a formidable force, surrendered to them. This surrender signifies a shift in the power dynamics, further consolidating the Arambai Tengol group's control. Reflecting on the future, the group's rise to power suggests a potential blueprint for other such groups. It poses a challenge to the state and the country to prevent such power usurpations and ensure the safety and well-being of their citizens.
The Arambay Tengol Group, a testament to the shifting sands of power, has undeniably left an indelible mark on the heart of Manipur. Their reign serves as a potent reminder of the power dynamics at play, and the impact such shifts can have on the people, the state, and the country.